Hi, this is Heather, and we're here to talk about powdery mildew today. What is powdery mildew? It is a word that describes a variety of different fungal infections, and we're here to bring all the fungal infections together. Different fungal infections that don't come under powdery mildew, but just fungal infections in general in your dome and how to fix them. What you might find with a mildew or fungal infection is uh, little patches of fuzzy white that look like mold on your leaves that start out in small patches. You'll find them on the leaves that stay moist more often, maybe get less ventilation. And you wanna look for them in the spring and going into the summer. Also, you'll find different kinds of fungal infections will create spots on your leaves and they'll create rotting from the edge. There's various kinds of fungal infections. Best thing is to catch them early. So there are certain conditions that contribute to fungal infections in general. Some of the conditions are very hot, dry weather, also lack of ventilation, also overcrowding. So we're not pruning our plants up properly and getting ventilation up under the plants. Also watering leaves of plants where leaves might sit against each other and create moist situations where they're the prime perfect conditions for fungal growth to happen. And also not watering our soil properly and regularly. That's where the hot dry conditions come in. The soil dries out, the plant gets stressed, and generally the plant being stressed is going to contribute to fungal infection issues. So how do we prevent powdery mildew? main thing is ventilation. That makes sense, you know, fungal spores need moisture on leaves, they need stressed out plants. Here at Growing Spaces, we're constantly focusing on pruning up from the bottom. Palm treeing your tomatoes, take the fan leaves from the bottom instead of all the suckers. Really get those plants up off the soil, get airflow under them, squashes, um, cucumbers, all the big leafed plants, prune them up from the bottom and you'll have a lot more success with preventing fungal diseases. Also ventilation in your domes, fans that work properly, even on thermostats, great. And make sure your vents are open, opening properly and uh, have screen doors. Really recommend getting those doors open every single day and keep your soil water properly. Soil health and root health are very, very important for all pest and disease resistance. So we always recommend strengthen the roots of your plants, strengthen the soil, good bacteria, good fungus, mycorrhiza. We talk about this in our other pest videos. It all ties together. So let's say you discover some kind of fungal infection or powdery mildew. Always better to discover it early. Early ways to treat mildew and fungal infections are silica sprays. I have always used horsetail tea but um, you can get just liquid silica or powdered silica at any grow store, spray it on the leaves. It strengthens the cell wall of the plant and really helps with resistance. It's always better to start with your silica spray before the powdery mildew comes around. So the hot, dry weather's coming, your plants are flowering, they're pushing fruit, they're stressed out. This is the time to start treating them and preventing powdery mildew. But you can also treat with the silica um, if you've really got powdery mildew, I often go for the milk. I do half and half organic milk because there's no antibiotics in it. And uh, obviously we don't want antibiotics in something that we want to help with fungus. And I'll do half and half and spray the milk on all the leaves, top sides and bottoms. And usually if I catch it early, that takes care of it. Start with good clean water, filtered water, like distilled or RO is fine and half that with organic milk in a sprayer. You could use a spray bottle on like a mist, but you really want to get all over those leaves. And uh, just completely spray the plant uh, once a week until you're, until you're under control. There are several different ways to fight fungal infections in your domes. The best way to actually uh, be successful is to prevent them. And one last way to prevent and treat fungal infections is if you have good ventilation in your grow dome and your grow dome's not getting to be 110 degrees every day and really stressing your plants and you're still having fungal issues, it could be light transmission. These domes have 65% light transmission 
that's on spec for the triple cell wall polycarbonate. It's 99.5% UV prevention. So the plants, you might notice some of your plants, if they're not like right up against the south wall or if they're shaded, they get leggy. That's because they're not getting a lot of UV. Well, UV prevents fungal infections, right? It kills fungus spores. So what we'd want to do is take down our shade cloth and also trim more, trim more of those outer leaves so the plant is exposed more to UV light and that UV is going to naturally defend your plant against fungal infections. Fungal infections can be very scary. They take over very quickly and it can be just um, disheartening to see that happen. But know that you can get it under control. Your plants will survive in most cases and there are many different methods. I really hope this video has been helpful and please contact us with any questions or comments.